too many young people belittle their own ability to change minds, especially when it comes to vitally important issues like abortion. Growing up, a lot of us think the people we see on TV, the talking heads, government officials, and people who run influential organizations are the most powerful people in the world. After all, their opinions can reach millions of people at a time, and they have the power to make laws and change the future course of our nation. And while they certainly do have power, and ought to be urged to use it to protect the most defenseless of our fellow citizens, they don't have as much power as one person, you. Whether you're sitting in a lecture hall or eating with your friends, you hold more power than you'll ever fully realize. Your words come across differently than those of a person's parents, professors, pastor, or those powerful people on TV. As a peer, you automatically speak in terms that they can relate to, and what you say comes from that shared perspective. In addition to your ability to talk directly to your peers, your decision to speak up for the unborn reaches people at a critical time in the development of their values. Sociologists, psychologists, and educational specialists have found that for most people, their worldviews are typically determined after just the first two years of college. So that means anything a person hears before that time will eventually factor into those ideas that they adopt for the rest of their lives. As student activists, you're in the right place at the right time to share pro-life ideas, push back on lies about abortion, and be a bold advocate for the sanctity of life. And beyond these proven advantages you have as a young person when you choose to speak up, there's another reason you should commit yourself to be a voice for the most vulnerable in our society, one that's impossible to measure. We know that it's not always easy to speak up for life in classrooms and lecture halls or when you're tabling on campus, but what we don't always know is how big an impact our advocacy for the rights of the unborn can have. When you speak up during a class discussion and point out that abortion always takes the life of a fully unique person with a beating heart and the ability to feel pain, you might be laughed at, ridiculed, or ostracized. But maybe, years down the road, someone from that class might be considering an abortion. And in her mind, as she wrestles with that decision, she may remember your words. It's a life. It's a person with as much potential as anyone else and deserving of the rights the rest of us enjoy. And so that's why being a bold advocate for those who can't speak for themselves is so important. It's why Young America's Foundation is proud to stand alongside the rising generation and support their efforts that give our ideas and our values a platform within education. And it's why our movement needs you. You are uniquely qualified and uniquely placed to change the way the next generation and America as a whole thinks about and treats the unborn. So it's up to this generation right now to defend the right to life of the next, and we have the power to do so. All we need is to be willing to stand up for life with the confidence that comes from knowing our words can and will make a difference when it matters most. <laughs>